Okay, so I've been somewhat neglecting these videos a bit. I haven't made it in a long time, so I, I don't know, thought I didn't end it on a good note. So I thought I might come back and finish it up. You know, do the final couple videos to my series. So what I'm going to do now is finally document the project because it's pretty much all done. I mean, I got the stairs in; it's, it's all there. So no more modeling. Uh, let's see. So let's make a section first, so we can start. So I'll go on O2 lower level here on the views. Okay, and now we'll go to view, and then I believe it's section. Yep, here, and we'll just go about here. Now we're going to make sure we uh, get the section going right through the stairs here. Yeah, that's, that's good. And click. Okay. Now let's have a look at this. Where would it be? Where would it be here? Sections. Section 1. Uh, there we go. Seems about right. And this is just, imagine we were to cut right down that line. This is what it looked like. I mean, here we have two doors. And another door here, you know, right down the stairs. So that's what the section does. It's just a, a section of that. Okay. Okay, so go to O2 entry level in floor plan. Make sure you're in floor plan. Okay, and uh, we'll go to annotate and tag all. Okay, so this will give us a menu of what to tag, and well, we're going to tag doors and windows. So we'll hit hold control and click windows tags. Okay, and we'll hit OK. And there you see it's created tags automatically for all the stuff the windows here, the doors. And that's quite great. Okay, so we'll go to the first level and we'll repeat. So tag all and hold control win and there we go, it's tagged all the thing. Okay, so now we're gonna make a door schedule. So it's just a little table of doors that we we need in the house. So to this we got a view and on the design bar. Schedules and schedule slash quantities. Okay, so we're going to choose doors because we're doing a door schedule. And I guess we'll click OK. Okay, so we'll pick family and type and we'll click add. So this is just the type of the door, so you'll see in a second what that means. And we'll also add the width the height and the mark okay and we can use these move up buttons to you know order them so we'll put mark on the top and and you can probably tell why that's useful in a second and I'm gonna hit okay and there you go it's a door schedule so we can resize them, so we can see family and type all of it. We've got plenty of screen space, so that's no problem. Okay, that should be enough. And through this menu, we can actually change the types of doors quite conveniently. So I'll just show you. So which one's door free? This is um a well, I'll just go to one I know where, and it'll probably be this. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to pick 11. I'll try to look for 11. Ah, oh, 11, this one. So we'll just look at that in 3D view. Okay, so remember that door. And we'll quickly change it. So schedules. And then we'll change 11 to this. Okay, now let's have a look at it. And you see it's changed. So through that schedule menu, or table, whatever you want to call it, we can change it however we like. Two different doors, we can change heights, widths, uh, respectively. So, let's go, cha I changed it back, by the way, so it looks normal. And, yeah. Okay, so now we're going to start putting in some room plans. And to do this, we're going to need to, um, well, make room constraints, so the Revit program knows where we want the roofs to be because 
up until now he just thinks it's empty space. I mean, it's just space. It doesn't know it's a room. So we got to tell it. Uh, so we go to first level 01 to start with, and we're going to hold control and click all three of these retaining walls. So these are the foundation walls we put in in the first video, I believe. Okay, and we'll go properties. Oh, properties over here. So. Alright, so I had to change it to wall for some reason, I don't know why, but regardless. We'll look for a room boundary and we'll tick this. Okay, and we'll hit apply. Alright. Alright, so now we'll create the room schedule, doing the same way, which we know how now. And just going to view. Oh, hang on, it's not view. What was it? It was. It was oh it was view I was in annotate sorry uh, we go to um, schedule and schedule slash quantity and this time we'll choose room so I'll look for that here it is room schedule all right okay and now uh, which fields do we want I guess we we'll want a number name and area okay so that's all seems right. Now the schedule's empty because we haven't added any rooms to it, but well, we're going to start doing that now. So, so we'll open O2 entry level. Oh, hang on, I'm not in <laughs> entry level. Yeah, common error. I was in ceiling view. I meant to go to floor plan. All right, so we're in O2 entry level, and we'll go to. Okay, so we'll go to the home tag, and select room and we'll proceed to start clicking out the rooms so we have a room here and we'll put a room here a room here and that seems about it for the second floor and we'll go down the first floor 01 low level and we'll do the same thing again so we'll go room here room here 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 and here the living room Okay. Now let's start changing these tags to give them well reasonable names. So we'll go change this to living room. Whoops, my bad. Okay, and this one to well bedroom, bathroom. Uh, I guess these can be stores. So. Uh, tricky, there we go. It's a little storage area. And we'll go back to the second floor. And we'll make this bedroom. This one, store. And this one, it is the entry. Because it's not really a room, it's just a space, you know what I mean? Okay, so let's take a look at this in the room schedule, see if it's all there. And well, what do you know? It's all there. Okay, and uh, well, the entry doesn't seem right, so let's go back to that. Oops, wrong one again, sorry. It's meant to go to floor plan. Okay, so let's take a look at entry. It's covering this space here, which isn't really. A room, it's just air. You, you know what I mean? Like, I'll show you in 3D view. See, there's no floor there, so it's you can't call it a room. So let's go back to entry level. Click entry again. All right. So we'll go to ah uh, back to home here. Room, room separation line. And we'll start up here. And we'll go all the way down, down, down there. Go up to here down to here I believe and all the way to the well and that should be enough modify and let's have a look and there you go you see it's it's only on the floor part which is exactly what we want so let's have a look at this in the schedule see it's real area and the real area is 36 meters squared so that's more acceptable Alright, 
Okay, so let's start modifying the tags. So we'll go to the O1 lower level and we'll select, we'll double click it and we'll hit A. And yes. And we'll go to the entry level and we'll select one of these and we'll double click B. And now we're just doing this because the numbers are a bit obscure. obscure. Whereas the letters, we get a clear type. Like we can clearly see that these windows are all the same type, and a letter is more better than just a random number that doesn't really mean much. Okay. Okay. So now that we've done all that, why don't? Okay. So now we have these rooms, right? But it's all black and white, it's quite hard to distinguish the rooms. I mean, you see this, and you see this, you don't know which where they separate, really, because... I mean, you, you do know because of this wall, but... Imagine if the wall wasn't there, because you could have... You know. So anyway, why don't we color code the rooms? And we can do that in Reddit, it's quite simple. So we'll start by going to 01, the first level, we'll start ground up and we go to home and it's legend so we'll click that and we'll scroll out a bit and we'll just place it to the side here Okay, so we want the types to be rooms it's the only type apparently but okay so rooms and we're going to go by name okay and you see it's color coded them and since we've already done the room schedule it's, it knows what our names are and it knows where so it does most of the work for us Okay, so now let's do this on the second level, shall we? And we'll go there. Okay, and... Okay, and on this floor we go Legends. And we'll do it again. Uh, name, okay. Okay, I don't exactly know why this is happening. Why it's, um... Doing... Uh, this way it displays the colors from the rooms underneath. I honestly have no idea. I've spent the last maybe 20 minutes searching on Google or and on the documentation and reading stuff, but I, I, I honestly can't find a reason. It's, it's bugging me, but well, what can I do? There's maybe someone in who knows why write this down in the comments help everyone out because I honestly have no clue why it's doing this I mean all I want is the colors for this room I mean this level so this bedroom here and this and it's doing that yeah right like you can see it here I'm putting the legend back it's doing that so it has the entry here and you can see the entry it's edited and take out everything else yeah, but it's also doing the ones underneath, which is overlapping on top of um, the second floor. So I honestly have no idea why. And well, anyway, uh, so if you you know why it's happening, please comment it down below. Okay, so anyway, this is probably getting quite long. I'm probably going to end to this one. I should be making another one or probably tomorrow because it's getting quite late now on rendering it and also creating a sheet to for printing if you ever want to show it off to someone or something. well anyway so yeah thanks for watching by the way alright while editing the video I was making I couldn't help but think of a solution to the dilemma, though I do stress that it's not exactly the most correct way of fixing it. Uh, there's probably a better way and you, I urge you to look in the comments below to see if anyone else has given a reason as to why a, a solution as to how to fix it, but in case they don't, I will do my quick hackery, hackerish, hacker type fix. Alright, so I'm going to go to 01 lower level and this all seems right so I won't change any of it 
but over here I'm gonna go level 2 bedroom level 2 entry and level 2 store so you can probably see what I'm doing here I'm, I'm gonna separate these so I'm gonna hit the edit the scheme and I'm gonna call this level 2 color scheme Actually, I spelled color wrong. Here in Australia, we spell color with a U. I know it's a bit odd to Americans, but that's how we spell it. Okay, so I'm going to untick everything that isn't L2. So, apply. And this will give us a color schedule of L2. And it should still be the same here. Now, what do you know? It's not. So, I'm going to quickly fix this. So, I'll delete hit that and I'm gonna go to the properties and change the color scheme here okay so here in the schemes I've called it the title that but I should have called the name it so I'll rename it here alright and now I'll duplicate it yep and I'm gonna change it to one so this is going to be the scheme for the first floor and this one the second floor so the first floor I don't have any of the L's tools I only have the L1's so, yeah you know, I'm, I'm going to delete these so how do I oh well, you know you can't do remove alright well regardless okay so that's there and on the second floor if you go the you know, I only have L2's because I only want level 2 floors and so this is a solution it's not the best because you get this ugly L2 in the way but I'm not quite sure how to do it any other way I do hope someone does figure it out or maybe it's just on my computer maybe because I do remember doing this in 2009's Revit and I didn't have this problem at all Anyway, so thanks for watching. See ya.